Hi you guys, it's Karina. So I am back with another video tutorial and today we're gonna to be working with my template 17. Um, and we are going to be making this flower right here. I wanted to show you guys how to make it. Um, super simple to make, definitely a temp template I recommend. Um, if you are a beginner with my template 17 now she has been around for quite a bit um, I do have a few more video tutorials on her from years 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 ago when I Kind of first released her because you are able to make a rose with her as well with this particular template Let me go ahead and grab one. Um, I'll be right back Okay, so this is a rose that I also made with my template 17, which I am going to be making a video tutorial on this one um, because I do have a video tutorial on the rose on a similar style. Well, how can I say this? It's using the same petals, but I actually used different size petals for the original rose that I made with this particular template but I needed something a little bit more simpler at least I think this version is a little bit more simpler using this template um, so the tutorial will be coming this week this week I am going to dedicate to template 17 just because I feel like she needs a refresher a couple of tutorials so I am going to be showing you today how to make this flower um, I also have in the works to show you guys how to make this style flower as well with my template 17 super cute adorable and then i have another one as well that's in the works i just like to you know provide different uh video tutorials for you guys on on particular templates um just because i don't want you guys to think oh i can just make one style flower or two no you can actually you know just get creative and mess around so i've never really made this particular flower before with this particular template so that's why i said you know what let's make a video tutorial so that way i have a save because believe it or not when i stop like i'll work with the template and then it'll be honestly it was years <laughs> since i worked with this template and like for making that rose so i kind of had to go back to my other rose tutorial to kind of help me so better i mean Honestly, my video tutorials actually help me out in remembering how to make particular flowers. Um, so this is why I kind of want to document and make this video, honestly, for myself as well, you know, just in case I ever want to refer back and kind of like, how did you make it, Karina? So with template 17, you do receive 15 petals. Okay, so 15 petals, and then you receive three um, inner rose petals which i will show you guys those when i have the rose tutorial but it does have the additional three like little rosebud um centers that you will need in order to make the rose but this is what the petals look like so they are round um somewhat similar to my template too if you have my template too but my template too they're a lot more thinner and they're a lot more longer um and i definitely wanted a template that was more rounder and wider um, so that's how this template came about okay so for today as I said we're gonna be working with this flower right here we're gonna be making a larger size um, slightly larger than the size right here um, so follow the steps that I'm gonna show you if you want to make additional sizes it did just require three petals and then as you can see I did I did do three different colors just because if you're a follower of mine as well I am working on a colorful paper flower backdrop in my daughter's room um, and so their fun bright colors is what kind of the theme is for her so this is why you know it's kind of loud <laughs> but obviously use any colors that you want um, I did use 65 pound cardstock weight that is the ideal weight that I personally like to use you can definitely use text weight you can definitely use other paper that's thicker but my only thing just because when making this flower as you can see the petals are kind of tight I don't know if you noticed that but they're they're tight in there um so when you're working with thicker cardstock I find it a little bit harder um to kind of work with it it's not as easy so honestly I would try to stick just around 65 pound weight cardstock now this is from Printworks, um, from Amazon, the, the company, paper company is called Printworks. You can find them on Instagram, Printwork, Printworks DIY, I believe that is what their handle is. Um, and all three colors are from them, okay? Um, so today, I'm also gonna be using Printworks along with Michael's cardstock. We're gonna be working with 
this beautiful hot pink color. And then we're also going to be working with purple. This purple is from Michaels. And then the, I'm going to be using the same green as I did with that other one, just to kind of keep it all within kind of similar, you know, with the green centers. Um, so anyways, let me show you the petals that you are going to need. So for this particular one right here, I used the first little baby. I omitted the second one. I used the third. I omitted the fourth and the fifth and the sixth petal. So first, third, and sixth petal is what I use, okay? For that size that I just showed you. But for today, let me put these back. All right, and I did label mine because I knew I was going to forget. So we're not using the little one. I'm going to use the next size up. I am going to omit the next one. And I'm going to grab, so this is the fourth petal. And now I'm going to skip to and grab the next one. Okay, so if you want to continue and make larger sizes, then pretty much follow the same steps. So for example, if we want to make a larger one, say this is the first petal we're going to use, we're going to skip the one behind it. Then we're going to grab the next one and then we're going to skip two and grab the one behind it, okay? So it's one, skip, one, skip two, and then grab the next one. I hope that makes sense. So again, if you wanna make additional sizes, just follow the same steps that I just showed you right now. All right, let me get this out of the way and let me get all my supplies. Okay, so let's talk about how many petals you are going to need of each. So for your smaller petals, you're going to need six. Then for your second size petals, you are going to need 16. So I did eight and then eight. And then your last layer, which is your larger petals, so your outer uh, layer, you're also going to need eight. Now, obviously, if you wanna use less petals or more, you certainly can. Just follow the same steps, steps as I'm about to show you, okay? Um, so let's get started. Let's so prepping our petals. So I have two right here. You're going to need a wooden dowel. You are going to curl the petals back just like that. Grab your scissors, cut in the center, glue, and pinch just like that. Now this template is available in PDF and SVG. Personally, I did hand cut these um, only because these petals, or at least this one is a little bit larger. And that way I can, so what I do, you guys, because you know, if you're a Cricut Design Space or even a Silhouette user, you can only cut one sheet at a time. Okay, and I personally, <laughs> I don't have the patience for that. If it's a smaller petal, absolutely, like smaller, like if I were just to cut this one, I would be able to cut multiple in one sheet. But when it comes to the larger petals, um, obviously there's just not enough space. So I just, I don't have the patience to wait for that. So what you wanna do, let me grab some paper here. It's just layer. So personally, I grab four sheets of paper because again remember we need eight of the, of the petal okay so I have my paper right here so I have four sheets okay and then I'm just going to grab my petal obviously trace it and then cut it because when I cut it I am cutting four petals at a time instead of one you know what I mean it's just it's just, but I definitely recommend a good pair of scissors that is going to be able to cut through four sheets of cardstock because not all scissors are made the same, you guys. So you definitely need to make sure that you are getting scissors that are meant to cut through thick cardstock, cardboard. So these are my personal favorite, Carbo Titanium by Westcott. I have been using these for years. Honestly, I'm, I'm a Westcott girl. I mean... 
as you can see, I have various different types of, and these are both meant to cut through cardstock, thick cardstock cardboard. So that way it just cuts like a dream. Okay. So my petals are all prepped and you are going to start off with your largest petal. I am going to be using my Sherbonder mini detailed glue gun. Okay. Also from Amazon. You can also get it from their website. We're going to start off and gluing these around a circle. I'm adding a very small dot of glue to hold the petal. And we're just going to go around in a circle. And I'm going to tell you, it, it, for me, it took a couple of tries. I don't always get it the first time just because I am adding eight petals. So trying to kind of eyeball, making sure that the spacing is right, which I can already tell the spacing is going to be, I don't know, I think I'm going to have to readjust. But that's why we're adding a very small dot of glue in case we have to lift the petals. Trust me, I don't always get it the first time. So just a very tiny dot of glue. We got our circle. I mean, it's a little wonky, but that will work. I don't even know if wonky is a, is a word, you guys. <laughs> just, you know, our circle is not, you know, it's more like an oval, but it works. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to cover up this gap, okay? Now, if your circle is looking more like a square or something, then yes, I would readjust the petals. And honestly, it's so easy. That's why we added a small dot because you're able to lift up the petal if you need to readjust, okay? So I just wanted to share that with you guys. That's why I made the smallest little dot of glue just in case we have to readjust. Now, grab the same color. And now we have to make a large enough circle to cover up that hole. I'm only guessing here. I'm hoping this is large enough. Yeah, that works. And it doesn't have to be perfect, the circle, because you're not going to see it. So now we're going to go around. and add glue. Voila, so we are done with our first layer. So now we are going to get our second size. So remember we needed 16 of these. I am only, for the first petal, I am only gonna add a dot of glue. So facing me, this is my left. Okay, because we're going to tuck the last petal underneath here and we are going to go in between the petals. And now you're just going to go around in a circle, but staying in between the petals. As you can see, I'm just adding a strip of glue to the bottom. Okay, we are on to our last one. So now we are going to be tucking this underneath. Okay, and see how this is, that's the first petal we laid. So now add glue underneath it. There you go. I just feel like that gives it more of a seamless look, personal preference. Next petals, 
which we will be repeating. Same thing, dot, left, go in between, and then repeat, going around. Now, if you find that the eight petals are not fitting, that's okay. Because it starts getting a little tighter trying to squeeze in these petals. Now, I don't know if, you, if you've seen that, but that second petal, I did tuck it in that first one. All right. And there you go, we are done with that third layer. I am going to go ahead and secure this back here by adding glue. Okay, and we are done with this third layer. So now we are on to our last layer. So I decided I wanted a different color, so I'm using purple, repeat, dot. So we only needed six of these, so there's no eight. So I like to start kind of in between two petals and then just go around in a circle because there's no way that eight would fit. So just go around. We got one, two, three, four. I think I probably could have gotten away with five. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna do some readjustment. I think so. I don't know, should I? I think I'm gonna lift this petal up and grab this one that I first glued down. Okay, I'm going to recurl it. Going to glue. Okay, that just gave a little bit more spacing. Again, I think I could have gotten away with with five. All right, there you go. I was able to fit in the six. So now we need the center. So let me go ahead and grab the paper I need and I'll be right back. Okay, so for the center, I'm gonna be using this pretty lime green color. So uh, first thing you wanna do is fold your paper in half. So this is a hand cut center, you guys, okay? Now, if you don't feel like hand cutting, um, cause I know there, <laughs> there's quite a bit of people that would rather do everything through Cricut. I know that Cricut does have an image, um, that is very similar to the one that we are about to cut, um, the marigold image. Okay. That's the image, the marigold image. You would just have to play with the sizing. So, okay. We had a half, get rid of the other half. Now we are going to fold this half again. And cut in the center, just like that, okay? So now what we're going to do is now fold again in half. Do the same thing for this one. So we're making a palm center is what we're making. 
but a hand cut one. But again, Cricut Design, you can definitely make this center using the Marigold um, image. And this is what it would look like. So this is for another flower. Obviously, this is a large one. But this is essentially what we're making. Obviously, because it's Cricut, this looks more neater because obviously all the lines are straight and whatnot, but we're hand cutting just because I like to show you guys, um, diff, you know, that you don't need a Cricut machine or a Silhouette machine to make centers and flowers. So I'm going to layer them. And now we are going to cut lines or well, pretty much we're fringing, as you can see. Now, you don't want to go all the way up because if you do, then you are going to cut this, okay? So you're just going to go up and stop. Can you see that? I hope it's not, um, what's the word? A little bit blurry. So let me go ahead and finish this up and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so my strip is all cut, or I should, should say strips because there's two of them. So now you want to open them up, okay, just like this. And now we are going to fold them the other way, separate. Yeah, let me fix this one. There we go. So now we are going to roll secure with hot glue. Add your next one and then roll that one too. Okay, so now fringe it. So pull these back. So voila, isn't that adorable? And then you get your flower. Okay, add glue to the back and then glue that in the center. Obviously you can do any other center if you want. This is just a suggestion. Oh, did I never glue this one down back here? I think I did. But if you wanted to maybe add a gem, you certainly could add a gem. Or I just wanted to show you something very simple. But again, that is up to you, preference-wise, what you would like to use a center. I just like to show you guys an idea, give you guys an idea. So I hope you found that helpful. Um, so again, this is my template 17. You can find her on my Etsy shop. Um, again, available SVG and PDF. So when you purchase the SVG, it'll automatically also give you the PDF in case you would like to hand cut. Because again, I personally use both. I If it's larger petals, I hand cut. Um, so that's what the PDF is for. You would just make your own hard copy. So you would print the template out um, and then trace it onto thicker cardstock or print it out on cardstock and then just cut out the petals. So then that way that is your own hard copy. And this is what I mean by a hard copy. This is my own petal that I use to trace and cut. Okay, but you also get the SVG that you're able to upload and download onto Cricut Design Space or Silhouette or any other cutting machine. Honestly, I'm not aware of any other ones, but I'm sure there are. Um, so I hope you found that helpful. Any questions, email me, arielisedesigns at gmail.com or my Instagram, also arielisedesigns or my Etsy, arielisedesigns. Pretty much they're all arielisedesigns, you guys. And I will chat with you guys later. Bye.